Hi, it's Andre from Convey Randomness here and today I'll be showing you an effective method of recording yourself playing the guitar. And the equipment I'll be using today is an iPad Pro, a Blue Yeti USB microphone and of course a guitar. I've got this one, a Fender CD40 acoustic guitar. First of all, you'll need to connect your Blue Yeti microphone to your iPad. I'll link my video above on how to connect the Blue Yeti to your iPad and the accessories you'll need. I recommend that you put the Blue Yeti microphone in cardioid mode. This will ensure that the microphone only receives sound from the front and then position it in such a way that the sound of the guitar is directed towards it. If you press the GarageBand app, it will bring up the files page. If you have previously recorded yourself, you will find existing saved projects here. For the purpose of this how-to, we want to press create song. This will bring up the tracks page. As we want to bring in an external sound into the device, we need to select audio recorder. On this page, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a plus icon. If you press this, it will bring up song sections. As you can see, it shows section A being eight bars. This means that if we were to press record right now, then it would only record for eight bars. And obviously we want to record for longer than that. Press eight bars and then toggle automatic to on. This will now record for a longer length dependent on the storage you have on your device. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see channel. At the moment, it is currently set to mic, which means that the current audio input is coming from the iPad's own microphone. As we are using the Blue Yeti mic, we can now plug this in, if you haven't already. Once you've plugged it in, you'll get a box saying audio device connected, which shows that the Blue Yeti has been detected. Press turn on monitoring, and you will notice that above channel where it wants a mic now reads one. You can now change any of the settings if you want to, but for this tutorial, I'll be leaving everything on default. You are now ready to press record. Once you've finished, you can press play to review what you've just recorded or alternatively, you can build a song by adding loops or additional recording by pressing tracks view button, which will bring up a list of different inputs that you can add. If you want to add an additional instrument or even a singing element, you'll just need to follow the same process of recording the sound that you've just done previously. The good thing about GarageBand is that you can formulate an entire song through its separate sounds. And there you have it. You're now able to record yourself playing the guitar on your iPhone or iPad. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe while you're at it. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.